Um, I am uh, here on a Friday and I have decided that I'm going to start a new series called Foundation Friday. And we're going to explore like a bunch of different types of BB creams, foundations, and powder con foundations. And we might even throw some concealers in there. Um, I've seen a lot of this challenge on Facebook and um, YouTube, also on uh, Pinterest. Um, it's the Sharpie Marker Challenge. Well, we're not going to be using, like, expensive, expensive makeups. What we're going to be using instead is, like, makeups like Neutrogena, um, Mary Kay, ELF BB Cream, and NYX, which I got... Okay, and also I am going to tell you the wonderfulness of Bare Minerals as well. Um, as far as powder foundations go, I think that that's the best. It is a little more pricey, but it will last you forever. So, here we go. Um, notice how I've drawn on here. It's real. See? Real Sharpie. Okay, so we're going to start off with um, Mary Kay's TimeWise Luminous. Um, foundation and it's supposed to be a flawless coverage so here we go just gonna put a little bit up here because this is our first one now I kind of been a little cranky about these challenges just because I truly feel that you can cover up anything if you put a large amount of it on. So, I don't necessarily feel, I mean, it does a pretty good job. I, I'm not gonna lie, it's not like complete coverage, but I didn't put a ton on either. So, I'm not gonna cake my face full of makeup just to cover up some impurities, because to be honest with you, I got freckles. I'm proud of it. I love them. And, you know, if you do have blemishes, that's kind of what uh, concealer is for. So, I mean, it, it doesn't do too bad, though. You always want to do kind of a dabbing, like a patting thing with your brush. But, I mean, it's not bad. Um, for 20 bucks, you can't really can't really complain. It is one of the higher priced ones that I'm going to show you except for the Bare Minerals which um, I'm going to wipe off my brush and we're going to now I'm try... <laughs> I'm going to try not to spill this all over. Oh my gosh. Okay. That was bad. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I have like a ton on here. I'm just going to take a little bit of that off. Because I don't think we really need, like, all that. Okay, so this is the Neutrogena, and this is called Neutrogena Healthy Skin um, Liquid Makeup. So, um, hey, that's not too bad, actually. Where I put it, it's kind of covering it up. Can you see that? That's actually pretty good. I am not complaining. That is a very good, good concealer. I mean, there's there's not a lot of purple showing up there. I mean, this is the this was the Mary Kay. This is your Neutrogena. I'm going to do NYX and I got this at Ulta but I didn't spend a ton on it it's actually one of the cheaper things that I buy at Ulta okay I think I put a little bit more than I should have on there but whatever we'll pat it off it's not too bad that actually really covers nicely I like that one. I wear that one daily. I mean, that's one of my favorite liquid makeups or liquid foundations. Um, 
The one that I wear the most, though, I have to say is probably Bare Minerals just because it does nourish my skin. Plus, it gives me, um, like, really, really beautiful complexion. Um, like I said before, good skincare is, like, the most important thing, but, you know, having a good makeup helps. So, that's not so bad. I kind of like that. That one worked really well. Um, we're going to do ELF's uh, BB Cream. I like BB Cream because if I don't really want to go through the whole rigmarole of foundation and everything, I think it works really well. Um, cleaning off my brush. So I'm going to use a different brush. Okay. Now, BB Creams are known not to really give super coverage. It's it's more of a lightweight, not a heavy concealer. It's not well, it's not a concealer at all. It's it's not a foundation at all. It's it's more of a correcting cream. And I wear it. It's really good coverage. I'm not and it's not caked on there as you can tell. You know, it's it's a little shiny, but it's still decent coverage. You know, I if you're looking for if you're looking for a really heavy concealer and you don't mind the cakey, the real heavy, thick makeup, that's fine. Um, I have a sample of this. It's uh, Super Goop's BB Cream, and the actual full size is really expensive. So. I'm just kind of using it as a comparative tool. I don't purchase it myself. I have used it before. Um, well, you'll see. I, I think it works really good, but to me, I just... I feel it's too heavy for what I'm looking for personally. I mean, it does give good coverage. So if you're looking for something that gives, you know, miraculous coverage, um, you know, really, really good coverage, that's what you're going to go for. Okay. Now, my powder foundation that I adore, I'm going to make an X on my hand. Doing it backwards is really not easy. <laughs> I'm using my finger because I am out of brushes. So that's okay. Forgive me. But I'm not putting it on my face so it's okay. Okay. Ready? I love and adore Bare Minerals. I think for what you pay, not a lot. There's not a ton on there, and there's not a lot of fallout. But for what you pay for it, you really have to keep in perspective what you're getting. You know, you're, you're getting something that's going to last you months, you know. and months and months and months. Okay, so it didn't flawlessly cover it like a foundation, like a liquid foundation would. But I'm going to say that it definitely makes my skin look better. And as far as um, health of your skin, I definitely have to say that Bare Minerals is probably one of the best foundations that I'm gonna I'm gonna say I would ever use. Um, along with that, though, I do really like the NYX. Really love it. Uh, this is my favorite liquid foundation. Of course, you know, you always want to start off with good skincare, like I said, and a very good primer. 
I didn't use any primer on these. So it is what it is. But that's my opinion. And if you would like to know where to find any of these products, please comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe and become part of my crazy awesome family. Alright, love you all and see you next time.